Welcome to section 5 where we're going to be adding scores and sounds to our game. In this section, we're going to take a look at how to add game score label and increase the game scores. We're going to learn how to play collision sound when a cat catches a ball. We're going to learn how to add game background music. We're going to learn how to mute and unmute the background music. And finally, we're going to learn how to end the game when the ball is not caught by the cat. Add and increase game scores. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create and add a game score label node. We're going to create the score variable and increase the scores whenever the cat catches a ball. This is where we stopped in the last section. So what we want to do is we want to add a new node, which is going to be the score label. So I'm going to add it here. I'm going to say let score label equals to sk label node and it's going to have a text and the text is going to have is going to be a number zero but in string because this course will be a zero when the game starts. The next thing I want to do now is to add a small function just like I did with the add ball and the add cat. This will be a small function that we can call add score label and in this inside this function we're going to change the property so I'm going to make sure that I don't forget to call it because that happened to me how many times. So now let's change some of the property of the score label. I'm going to change the font color and I'm going to set it to dot white. And then I'm going to also change the position, score label dot position. And I'm going to put it at the center of the screen. So that will be CG point. And I'm going to set the X and Y just to be the half of the height and half of the width. So that will be self dot size dot width for the X divided by two. And then self dot size dot height divided by two for the x, and then let's not forget to add it as a child had child, and then we want to add the score label. Now that we've set this property and we've added it as a child, let's run the code to see exactly what the score label looks like. So start game. You can see that we have it there zero, just right in the center. Okay. So the next thing we want to do now is we want to increase the scores every time the cat catches one of these balls. So let's do that. So I'm going to create a score variable at the top. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to say var scores. And I'm going to set it to zero when the game starts. And then every time the, there's a contact between the ball and the cat, we want to increase the value of the scores. So that means we have to use the did begin contact function at the bottom here so inside the did begin contact we want to change we want to say scores plus equals to one so we want to add a value to the scores and then we want to change the text on the score label dot text we want to set it to the scores variable so scores and so let's run the game and see how that works start game and we'd start at zero. So every time I catch a ball, it increase to one. If I miss a ball, it shouldn't change. So there you go, three. So our scores has been set and then we can move on to the next step. In this video, we added a game score label and increased the game score whenever the cat catches a ball. 